Hey guys, I'm host here, RG2, and to review the Leap and Leg Blake Marvel Super Heroes Avengers Infinity War, the Hulkbuster Smash Up set. So, this is the box itself right here, and as you can see, it's recommended for just 6 and up, and this is set 07102, comes with 420 pieces, and comes with 4 minifigs. And the 4 minifigs are Bruce Banner, Falcon, Proxima Midnight, and an Outrider. So, the box right here looks pretty cool, you know, you have the Wakanda background, and you have uh, Thanos in the corner with his Infinity Gauntlet. So, this is the top of the box, uh, so you do have the actual size of Proxima Midnight, and uh, does have a carrying handle for uh, the box. And the box opens from the side, not the top, like the original LEGO set. So this is the side of the box, uh, you do have the Thanos here with uh, his Infinity Gauntlet. And this is the other side which is covered by stickers but it shows you the front box art. So this is the back of the box, uh, it does show you all of the features and you know all of the figures posing around I guess. And you do have this Thanos at the corner right here with the Super Escort. So that's pretty much it for the box. So inside the box does come with this crate right here. So this is the instruction manual right here and as you can see no leaping logo right here. Uh, but this is the first page. It does have numbered bags. This is the final page of the build. It shows you the feature of the Hulk Buster. And this is the back. Uh, it shows you this very nice uh, back box art. You know, looks pretty cool with all of the figures running around. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for the instruction manual. So these are all of the extra pieces right here. So let's start with these two. So you have uh, this extra ammunition for the cannon thingy. And you have these extra Kree Infinity Stones uh, for the Soul Stone. And you have these extra pieces in this bag right here. Um, I believe it comes with two sets of them. I'm not really sure why, but you know, I guess it's nice to get some extra pieces. And it does come with this gold uh, ring right here, which is interesting. And yeah, but aside from that, that's pretty much it for the extra pieces. So the first main figure right here is Bruce Banner. So he has his very nice hair piece here. You know, it's not new, but it looks cool. And the face print here looks pretty nice, but the printing for him is a little bit too thick. But uh, the torso print here, you have uh, his jacket with some pockets in it, and you have his under t-shirt. And does it have any leg detailing? This is his alternate expression, which is this angry Hulk expression. And you have uh, some very simple detailing at the back. And yeah, I mean, looks very simple, and uh, it came in the Thor Ragnarok sets. So yeah, but aside from that, that's um, really it for Bruce Banner. And the second minifig right here is Falcon. So he comes with his uh, wingsuit or jetpack here, but I'll show you the jetpack in uh, more detail later. This is uh, Falcon without anything on him, so uh, he has the fin hairpiece which is nice. You have uh, his goggles right here. They look nice as well. You got a little bit of a yellow kind of print right there. I'm not sure why it's there. Could be just a mistake. But yeah, so his suit right here looks pretty cool. You have uh, the red and gray design. I like the silver parts. They look nice and yeah, very nice design. And his alternate expression is this uh, with, without the goggles one which is him smiling and uh, the back torso detailing you have uh, the jetpack kind of detailing and you have uh, some straps you have um, you know just the rest of the suit uh, with the red and black parts so yeah aside from that that's um, pretty much it for Falcon and the third main figure right here is Proxima Midnight. So she's armed with her staff right here which uh, has this gunmetal gray lightsaber hilt which is nice to get and you just have two of these blade pieces 
And for the Mythic itself, uh, she does have her hairpiece, which is inaccurate. This is supposed to be the original hairpiece, but I'm not sure why. Very few bootleg companies actually made her hairpiece. One of those companies is uh, Zin. So if you want a more accurate version of her hairpiece here, you should get the Zin version of Proxima Midnight. But uh, she comes with this elf hairpiece, which has the ears right here, which just looks really weird, but the blue hair here. You know, looks nice, and uh, I believe Shingon also used this elf hairpiece. So, uh, for her face print right here, you have this kind of smile right here, you know, with the red eyes. And her torso print, you have her suit detailing with uh, some lines right there, you know, you have the texture, looks cool. And you have the black parts, you have the, this gold arm right here. And at the back, you have her alternate expression, which is this angry expression. You have uh, this gold part right here, you know, you have more of her suit detailing. And yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for Proxima Midnight. Last but not least, this is the Outrider Mayfix. So this is probably the figure with the best printing out of uh, these four. So, you know, that's definitely nice. This Outrider right here comes with his forearm attachment thing. You know, you have these four arms right here, and uh, the head print here, you have uh, its mouth, and the torso print, you have uh, the armor of uh, the Outrider, and you know, it looks really nice in gold, and this is the back head detailing, looks really nice, you have uh, some of these gold parts, you have these lines right here, and this is the back torso detailing, looks really nice with all the yellow armor, and you have uh, its body, so yeah, this is the forearm attachment piece. It's definitely great that Leapin made the mold, you know, because it's a new mold. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for the Outrider. So this is Falcon's wingsuit build right here. Um, so how this is attached is uh, it's attached by two of these studs on this neck attachment piece in transparent, which is a very common piece. And the jetpack build itself, you know, you have these detailing at the front here. You know, they are just stickers, uh, and they do look pretty good. And you can you know move them around, you know, to kind of pose the wings and. They are connected by these clip pieces, so you can kind of just move it around, you can move the winglets, and uh, the back here, you have this uh, cruster type thing, and here, you have this uh, detachable red wing grown, so, you know, you can kind of um, fly around and put it back on and it's only connected by two of these studs. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for Falcon's wingsuit build. And the second build right here is this gun turret build. It's not really a turret uh, since it can rotate, but it can go up and down, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, so the main feature of this turret is obviously the ball shooter. You can, you know, squeeze these two parts and it will fire. And they use these uh, ammunitions right here uh, these ball ammunitions and there's two of them uh, this one I showed you uh, earlier and um, yeah the second feature is this knockdown feature you know it works pretty well you can bash it with the Hulk Buster or you can you know just kind of uh, gently push it down with your hand and uh, yeah so for the detailing you have uh, these stickers right here you know, they are kind of like Wakandan style with these white stripes and yeah, here you have this very nice Nexo Shield piece in translucent purple, you know, looks really cool. And you can put a figure on here to kind of man the turret and you can stand or you can sit the main figure. And here you have this kind of handle bar type thing, uh, you know, to push this thing back up. Uh, once it's uh, fallen and uh, yeah here you have the this kind of wing piece uh, as kind of panel pieces and this part here is reinforced by this Technic beam piece and the back here uh, you have this compartment here 
uh, with an infinity stone in it, which is the soul stone. And I do like this uh, transparent cover, it looks pretty cool. And it does have a gold uh, jumper piece and also this gold kind of, I don't know, stand kind of piece. Uh, and the Infinity Stone itself, uh, it's accurate to the original LEGO version, so that means you can put it on Thanos' uh, gauntlet. So, yeah, that's just that, and uh, the top part of the turret is only connected by two of these studs and also these uh, Technic uh, connector pieces. So, yeah. Aside from that, that's pretty much it for the gun turret build. So this is the Hulkbuster itself right here. So let's start with the legs. Um, so the feet right here, you have the toes, uh, which you can move around because they are clipped onto this gold bar piece. And yeah, it's uh, definitely great. Uh, and they move really nicely and here uh, the feet you can move it around it's on a ball joint you know so that's definitely nice uh, uh, that's a point of articulation and at the bottom here you have uh, these crusters you know they are represented by these translucent blue uh, brick pieces so yeah I guess that's cool and on the knee here, you have two of these sticker pieces, and you have uh, this very bulky uh, side, and yeah, you have these gold parts, and this is the back, you can move it around, you got some really nice posability here, and yeah, it's cool. And uh, for the torso part here, you have this arc reactor right here. And yeah, you can open uh, all of this up to review the cockpit inside. I'll put the figure in later. But yeah, uh, so at the side, you have two of these stickers. And here, uh, this hip piece here, you have uh, this Iron Man mask design, uh, which looks pretty cool. And it's great that Lee Pin printed this very nicely so yeah that's cool and for the arms here you have uh, these stickers you have this one I'm not sure what this is supposed to be but it looks cool with the blue light and here you have uh, this repulsor here which also looks nice uh, you have this crango shaped top thing and you have the fingers which you can move around there's uh, four of them so that's that uh, this part just popped off so you can move the arms, you know, there are some very nice articulation here. Um, they are all on ball joints and yeah, for this arm, it's a little bit uh, more different. It, uh, it's kind of like uh, moving around loosely. Uh, that's because this is supposed to be uh, uh, the play feature of this Hulkbuster here. So how does this work? Uh, you just turn this knob at the back and you can you know kind of move around and you can use it to bash this gun turret right here. I'm not very accurate though. You can kind of do it like that so that's cool and yeah um, that's nice. Uh, so let's take a closer look at the cockpit here. Um, so you can ju just open all these parts up. Um, they are all clipped on and you have this kind of divider piece uh, you can put the figure inside you can put in Bruce Banner and yeah um, it's a very tight fit it's not very comfy in there so that does kind of suck but you can kind of throw him in there and yeah it does kind of work so yeah that's that and at the back here you have the this knob right here um, yeah and yeah this kind of weird part and you can remove this if, if you want to and if you don't want the arm to move around loosely you can remove this piece and just put this back in and the arm it should lock this uh, mechanism here so yeah you can see you can't really you can't move it anymore so yeah that's just that and uh, you can see the mechanism inside this is how it looks like and yeah um, but aside from that I think that's um, pretty much it for the features of the Hulkbuster and yeah here's another look at it so that's um, pretty much it for all of the builds and here's a size comparison between the old Hulkbuster and the new one. Um, so 
This one is the Shingon version. I have reviewed it before, but it's a very long time ago, and the video sucks a lot. And yeah, as you can see, the new Hulkbuster here, it's a little bit uh, taller, and you know, uh, this one here, you have this stud shooter, and this one doesn't. But this one doesn't have the arm bashing feature though. And this one, the back of this one looks a little bit better with these kind of four crossers. I guess they they look better than this. So yeah. But um aside from that, like that's really it for the comparison. There's not much else to compare. So overall conclusion of this set here, so how do I think of it? Well, the figures themselves, I think they are fine, they are not so good, but they are fine. I just wish that maybe they could have made the hair mold for Proxima Midnight, but if you, if you want a accurate version of uh, Proxima Midnight's hair, you should just get the Zin version of the main figure. And it's nice that uh, Lee Pin made the mold for the forearm attachment piece, you know, that's definitely great. Um, and for the builds themselves, I think the builds, they work really nicely and yeah, uh, for the turret itself, it fires the balls really nicely. It doesn't fire as far as the original LEGO version, but it still fires, it still works. And um, the knockout feature works pretty nicely as well. And it's nice that they molded the Infinity Stone because if you want to collect all the Infinity Stone, uh, you can buy the Leapin sets. And, yeah, you can put it on Thanos' gauntlet, so that's nice. And the, the bashing feature for Hulkbuster here works pretty nicely, and yeah, that's nice. And if you put the figure in, it might look a little bit weird, but that that's kind of Lego's fault, because yeah, that's their design, so... Yeah, that's uh, that's just that, and if you see the Shingon version of this set, I don't recommend you getting that version, because um, the modes here, they are just inaccurate, and you should just get the Leaping version. Uh, and if you see the Bella version, I'm not really sure if you should get it or not, because I haven't seen a review of it yet, so I'm not sure. Um, but if you see the Leaping version and you really want it, I suggest you getting it. So, you know, uh, that's that, and yeah, overall, if you want to get this set, I definitely recommend you getting it because it's a really cool set um, but it's just that if you want a more accurate version of Proxima Midnight's hair you should get the Zim version uh, and also some parts here they do fall off once in a while but um, that's just a small problem so if you want to buy the set here I'll put a buy link to it down in the description box below along with all my social media pages down in the description so if you like my channel make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here so that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you very soon.